Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Now, are you a creative and curious and or lifelong learner? Well, Skillshare is definitely for you. For those of you guys viewing this video, you might be interested in some of the classes they have available like graphic design, film and video, animation, illustration, and much more. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. One class I'm interested in is YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD taught by Marcus Brownlee. Seeing Marcus Brownlee at YouTube Legends slash Pioneer give a class on the very thing I love doing definitely pushes me to up my game on what I do. And I would like to say Skillshare has a special deal going on right now. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Again, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into it. What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here. Today we are back with another manga video. In fact, this is the manga collection for quarter two of 2021. Now, if you haven't checked out my last manga collection video, which was for quarter one, I said in that video that I'll be doing a manga collection for each quarter of the year. That way you guys can see the progression of all the manga that I get, or just to see how my shells change up from the last manga collection to this manga collection video. And if you wanna see the last video, go ahead, check the link in the description down below. But today we'll be doing the months of, oh, yeah. Let me, let me actually think real quick. Okay, April, May, June. Okay, so it's April, May, June. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should have stayed in college. <laughs> But today we will be going over our whole manga collection. Now I'm not gonna go super, super in depth because I have plenty of manga collection videos on the channel, but I will be showing you every single volume that I have in my collection and show you what all is on my shelf and tell you what I feel about the series overall in general. So before we actually get into that video, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledgers for going ahead and financially supporting the channel. I gotta say I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me, financially donating on Patreon. You guys deserve the biggest Dark Sage hug that I could give you. Secondly, I gotta give a shout out to Broke Boy Gang because they already know, they already saw the video title. They already know that it was a manga collection video and they wanna see what the boy Dark Sage has or what he's reading or what he's about to start reading. And if you're not a part of Broke Boy Gang, you wanna be, go Go ahead like the video that's for everybody share the content that way you know it can help me grow up in the youtube algorithm and go ahead hit the subscribe button and post notification bell that way you know whenever i post a new video and lastly if you guys have not followed me on my social media platforms go ahead all my links will be in the description down below so let's go ahead and get into it so guys today we will be going over four shelves that's right i got like one two three right here behind me but then i got a fourth shelf which is more for the bigger volumes and <laughs> more of my nasty man manga volumes over there. You get what I'm saying? I can't be having that showing in the thing. So that way, you know, it could be a little advertisement friendly. So, you know, your boy could get a little bad. But this right here is mostly the shonen shelf. I usually call this a little shonen corner right here. Now, this actual manga collection video will be the last one that's actually shot within this room because I am going to be moving soon. Uh, I'm not going to tell y'all where because y'all guys might rob me. But I will be moving soon. This is going to be the last manga collection in this room right here. And I don't see... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a bit sad. And that's probably why you notice that there aren't any figures. There's really not any figures on my shelf because I actually started packing them up already. I'm shooting this in June. That way it could come out in July because I already know I'm not gonna buy no manga in between where I'm shooting this now and between July 1st. So let's go ahead, get into it. I'm gonna take you guys handheld. Like I said, I'm gonna give you a brief synopsis of how I feel on these series, why I bought some of these series. And I'm gonna see what you guys might like in this collection. Go ahead, comment down below. How much manga you think I have? Like, do I have 100 plus volumes? Do I have 200 plus volumes? 300 plus volumes? You know, yada, 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 all that good jargon. But let's go ahead and I'm gonna take your hand out right now. All right, guys, so right here is my whole manga collection. Like I said, I took all the figures off because I am moving soon, so I had to pack those bad boys up. But right here, you can see some of the box sets that I do have, some of them, because I do have my Dragon Ball Z ones in the closet behind this green screen right here. But right here is my manga. And I think I'll be going from left all the way to the right because I kind of do have my JoJo's going like that and I kind of do have my One Piece and my Dragon Ball Z and my Naruto so I think it would be best to do that so let's go ahead and actually take a look within my manga collection right here we have some of the JoJo singles of part 3 Stardust Crusaders my favorite part in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure a lot of you guys ask me what's my favorite part my favorite part is part 3 and my favorite JoJo is Joseph Joestar the GOAT and right here we have Fist of the North Star which is actually the one thing that helped inspire JoJo obviously you could tell from the way that Fist of the North Star looks and what JoJo looks like at least at the beginning but right here we have Fist 
so North Star right here. Then we have my JoJo collection going right here from part one, which is three volumes, part two, which is four volumes, part three, which is ten volumes, all the way coming over here, and part four, which is nine volumes. Now, I do know that part five is coming out in August with the hardcover. I do like the way it looks, and of course, I am going to be copying that bad boy. Right next to it, because this is the hardcover shelf, kind of, we got the Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Editions right here, the hardcovers. And right here, we have one through nine. My favorite cover is honestly the one with Scar on it, and then the one with Roy Mustang. I really do like Roy Mustang. And we got some of the volumes right here. I am up to date with the Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Edition so far as I'm recording this video, as I'm recording this video, because you guys will be like, uh, uh, Dark Sage, you don't really, really have, have, have this one. one. Yes, I do. It's this is an older video by the time that volume comes out i will probably have that by then but right here we have the soul eater perfect editions volume three then we have all of villain saga which i recently got volume six and i got most of these off of a buy two get one free recently from bam uh you guys probably would have seen that haul already but right here we have volumes one of villain saga all the way up to volume 11 right here I need to start reading it i know i watched the anime for season one obviously because that's the only season that's out and i believe it stops somewhere within the fourth actual volume so i need to start reading that soon because i really do love villain saga so let's go Go ahead go down to the second level and right here we have my one piece right here and we have volumes one through 35 right here which goes up from the east blue all the way up to some of water seven this isn't all of water seven but it does come up to some of it and we got my little uh model kit of uh the going mary which was gifted to me by my boy james on jones thank you my boy i like that but right here we have some more one piece volumes going from volume 36 all the way to volume 70 which is the new world which i believe is in dress rosa somewhere i already did pre-order uh, box set four so guys go ahead look out for that video when it does come out make sure y'all hit that post notification bell like i said earlier but we have volumes 36 to 70 right here can't wait to get the new box set then we go over here we got another shonen which is one of my newer favorite shonens which is black clover and i got volumes one two three four Four, five six i'm missing eight and i'm missing 14 but besides that i have all of black clover up to date so far and we got jjk right here jujutsu kaisen right here going from volume zero which we are getting a fire movie of that later this year and we got volume 10 right here which is the latest volume that just came out which actually touches on some of the shibuya incident arc which oh i know there's gonna be fire i know it's gonna be fire now let's go ahead and go to the third shelf right here right here we have my dragon ball z shelf which actually spans all the way over here but right here we have dragon ball which is the red volumes right here one through 16 i am planning to do a reread and doing a review series on the channel itself we got some of my sh figure arts right there which i do need to pack up as well but we also got some dragon ball z volumes right here well actually we have all of them since i do have the box set we have volumes one going all the way to 26 right here we have another sh figure arts but then we got dragon ball super right here which i do need to read i was being current with it while i was in college but kind of lost track and honestly i lost my placement so i am gonna have to read it because it does have some differences compared to the manga and we got this little that time i got reincarnated as yamcha we got a little isekai action happening right here and we got my planet early of vegeta happening right there which looks super dark from everybody else but I can see it perfectly. <laughs> and then we go to the right. We actually have some more Dragon Ball Z stuff. Like the visual history right here. And honestly, this bad boy looks amazing. Some of the artwork in this bad boy is phenomenal. You guys got to check this bad boy out when y'all can. I'm not going to lie. Putting that bad boy up right now was just a big pain. But right here, we have the Dragon Ball full color editions, which I have the Saiyan Saga right here. All the Saiyan Saga. Then I got the last volume of the Frieza arc because honestly, Frieza arc is one of my favorite arcs in Dragon Ball Z aside from the Saiyan Saga, which has one of the best anime fights of all time. Don't at me. But right here, we have some of my shonen jump volumes right here these were from when i was a younger kid these i actually found at a used bookstore and the rest of these i buy them new i do buy them at kino kania you guys could probably see that in a come shop with the boy video which is a series where i go on hauls or hunts and you know i just look for manga and other weeb like things but this is the latest volume i got right here with sakamoto days on the front cover and that bad boy looks fire don't it don't hate don't hate y'all ain't gotta hate but right here oh my god let me fix this real quick all right, so I had some of my Undead Unluck caught with my Shonen Jump volumes because this one is not wrapped, sadly. But right here, we have some of my Undead Unluck, which is the latest volume with Volume 2 coming out recently. This looks like it got little Christmas colors happening on it. But right here, we have Volume 1 as well. I'm only four chapters deep while I'm recording this video, so eh, it's all right so far. It's not, it's not the bee's knees like I heard it was. And then we come over here, down here, to the Naruto shelf right here. And obviously, you guys know I have all of Naruto. If you guys have not seen my box set videos, go ahead, check them out. I think that they're pretty fire. But right here, we have all of pre-time skip Naruto going up to volume 27. Then we have some of Naruto going all the way up to 37 with Shippuden. Then we have all of Naruto going all the way over here with the finale of volume 72. Obviously, you can see with him being Hokage. And then, I know, I know, I got some Boruto right there. You guys probably can't see it because of the light and because it's in the shadows. And I usually don't stack my manga like this, but I have up to volume 1 through 4 of boruto and i plan to read it and give it a fair chance just like i did uh black clover <sighs> i was watching the anime 
had to drop it because the anime was trash picking up the manga and seeing if there's any differences with the manga but so far that's what it's looking like and let's go ahead and go to this bottom shelf right here and i got some of my art books right here the form of the alchemist one we got the uh naruto one and then we got rohan at the louvre which is not an art book obviously just a little side story but it is weirdly uh shaped compared to all my other hardcovers so yeah, please excuse me for that. But we have some of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Omni buses, which I've been going through a huge Yu-Gi-Oh! phase. I don't know why, but I've been going through a huge one. And honestly, I gotta say that I can't wait to read these bad boys. Especially since it goes over Season Zero, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist, the card game that we know. It then goes over Millennial World, which I've never seen in the anime. So, there goes all my Yu-Gi-Oh's. I have my water bottle right here, which I usually drink a gallon of water a day. And we got some of my One Piece box sets right there. And then we go to this shelf right here, and we have some, all of my Yu Yu Hakusho uh, manga volumes right here, with also all of my Parasite manga volumes as well. Two of my favorite series in anime and manga history. And we got some of the uh, Parasite side stories as well. We go down here, and we have some B-Stars going all the way up to volume 12. I'm sorry if I got can't get the angles right on this one. Move the camera. Ooh, that hurt. But we got volume 12 going all the way up right here. We also have solo leveling right here as well and then we got death note volumes one through six i'm missing three but three is actually on the way right now we got some hell's paradise um <laughs> while i'm reading this right now i only got three volumes i've read halfway to volume two it's looking like some mid guys a little, a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. but <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead move on from that i might read some more that way my opinion can change but we got zom 100 volumes one and two right there i am enjoying the series reincarnated as a slime volume one shaman king omnibuses two of them we got some dead man wonderland volumes one two four five and six right there i'm waiting to get all of them so i can actually binge the series and we got mob psycho going all the way from volumes one through six and the reagan story happening right there i know you guys can barely see it but because of lighting guys and it's really at the top of this bottom of the shelf uh, that sounded weird but you guys get what i'm saying and we got some scott pilgrims right there scott pilgrim one of my favorite non-anime series of all time and then if we move from that we actually got some other long-running shonen series and right here we have one punch man going all the way from volume one to volume 22 we got fire force going from volume one to 22 um both of these series eh, kind of mid but this series Ooh, the artwork in this bad boy is fire but we got uh, fire force and it's it's literally just fire like it's it's not fire as in my rating it's just fire because it has a name fire force in it and then we got bleach right here which i have volumes 1 through 21 i actually kind of dropped the series at the beginning of the year because i read part of the espada arc got a little boring and i you know i put a little rest to it and i started reading other series and i have not went back to it yet but i will try and finish it before this year ends so i could be caught up and i know about the thousand year war thousand blood of war arc whatever it's called but there should be an anime adaptation coming for that um as of right now um, it has not been announced when or we haven't seen any trailers, but yeah, let's go ahead to the bottom right here Oh, no. Ooh, your boys getting old because this hurt getting down here But we have Kaguya Sama Lovers War, which I've been watching on stream We actually watched the whole series on stream so far volumes 1 through 8. I do enjoy Kaguya Sama We got Nisa Koi series. I've lately been reading a little rom-com action a little spicy action happening on there Volumes 1 through 7. I am enjoying it, especially with my boy Ichijo um, I don't know if I'd recommend it yet. I'd say it's a fun series, but don't really like put your high hopes in it like oh, there's some great character development no 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 no. it's none of that it's just spiciness happening in that bad boy and i love it and then we got uh dr stone which i am predominantly watching the anime for but i also do want to collect so that way i can support and we got volumes 1 through 16 i heard it is super wordy um and your boy is not all about those words that's why i do not read light novels but we got the reboot right here of dr stone as well about byakio which is uh senku's adopted father right here we got chainsaw man volumes 1 through 5 a lot of you guys asked me if i've read chainsaw man i have read it while it was going weekly my boy yajay put me on to it from instagram and honestly it was one of the best series i could ever be put on to and we got come we can't communicate which i did a, a collaborative video with my boy apple bob on go check that out link in the description down below if i remember but come we can't communicate really 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 do love the series honestly it's, it's a pretty wholesome time and we got shaman king right here volumes one through eight but missing two so don't call me out on that but <laughs> but we got Yu Gi Oh gx volume one right here gotta get the rest of that bad boy we got spiral right here which was gifted to me by a subscriber we got dr slump volume one can't wait to read that food wars volume two the reason I have volume two is because I got that bad boy for $4.99. Can't mess up on a deal like that, especially a Shonen Jump title. We got Drifters one through six, and I'm missing volume three. So if y'all got volume three, go ahead and hook your boy up. No exorbitant prices because um, you will get blocked. But <laughs> Hunter Hunter right here. We got volumes one, two, three, four, five, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-six. It is really hard to find Hunter Hunter nowadays. And honestly, you guys need to stop buying it up. That way I could buy it up. That way you guys can continue buying it. <laughs> But right here we got Spikes Family. I do enjoy the series right here. I am reading it. Uh, I'm actually up to date weekly because I read it on the Shonen Jump app. So yeah, um, this shelf right here, pretty dope. And then we got that shelf. Then we got this shelf. Then we got that shelf. Obviously the top. 
looking glorious we got some stuff right here all this down here yep we already talked about all this but i'm giving you a full little tour of this bad boy but if you want me to explain some of my placement of the manga on the shelf go ahead check out my what's on my shelf video uh link will be in the description down below for that as well but yeah i think that this is a pretty dope layout And right here, guys, we have my last shelf, the greatest shelf of all time. I'm really proud of this shelf. This is what I call the Nasty Man shelf. What a, you know, with a few gems right there. <clears throat> Berserk, or I like to say Goat Zerk. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I kind of forced that one. But right here, this is the Nasty Man shelf where I keep most of my Nasty Man manga right here. Oh, and I actually forgot. I actually had this on my desk right here. But I do have this right here. Blue flag right here. Uh, I was trying to read it, but I'm going to just read it on the app. See how I feel about it. It is a volume one. And I also got Fruits Basket Volume 1 right here. I was trying to read this before June. Hopefully, I could finish this before July actually starts. But honestly, that Chapter 1 really ain't catching me. And that artwork, kind of ugly. I know, I know, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It just looks so ugly when I'm coming from something like Berserk. And I'm coming to Super Pointy Chins like Lelouch from Code Geass. And I dropped that series too. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You guys are probably crucifying me right now. But that's all right, guys. Because right here, we have the Nasty Man shelf. And this one, this might... I'm not even going to say it's going to purify you. It's going to taint you because it's going to make you a nasty man. Whether you're a man or woman, nasty man is gender neutral. But right here, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Oh, my knees. But right here, we have Prison School, Volumes 1 through 12. Well, oh, wait, Volumes 1 through 14. I'm tripping. This right here is the Nasty Man Bible. This is the first series that made me a nasty man. This brought the nasty man out of me. Like when Krillin was killed by Frieza and they brought the Super Saiyan out of Goku. This is what brought the nasty man out of me right here. Prison School. Go ahead, watch the anime. If you're of age... Watch the anime if you're of age. I will say that right now. We got the Prison School side story. We got Raw Heroes, made by the same person who made Prison School. Rent a Girlfriend, Volumes 1 through 6. Um, pretty spicy. We got Kakaguri. Still haven't watched it or read it yet. That's why I only got Volume 1. My Just Up Darling, Volumes 1 through 4. I am enjoying the series. It's a wholesome nasty man. It's a wholesome nasty man. I got Do You Like the Nerdy Nurse, which... <sighs> I'm so disappointed with this purchase right here. This is probably the worst manga I have in my collection so far. I literally bought this for the purpose of Nasty Man, and it was not Nasty Man. It was Wholesome Man. I'm not a wholesome man unless it's for Comey. I'm sorry. We got a Race Volume 1, which is a Yen Press, which I'm surprised it's a Yen Press because Yen Press makes a lot of Nasty Man content, but uh, I respect Yen Press for doing that. We go to the second tier right here, and we got Uzaki Chan, Volume 1 through 5, and Uzaki Chan. Mm waifu we got interspecies reviewers volumes one two and the side story happening right here we got gigant volumes one through five which is a series well i read the first two volumes as i'm recording this video and who i'm not enjoying it i feel like it's just weird to be weird we got gal gohan right here which i am waiting for volume eight i have been caught up for so long i feel like it's been forever since we got a new volume but we got volumes one through seven right here we got superhero x or superhero arrows i don't know how to really say it but if you got H energy, you know what I'm talking about. We got volumes one through two. I only read volume one so far. I had to get two to see where it was going to go. Got Peter Grill, the strongest man on earth. And everybody wants a seed. I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is Peter Grill volume one through two. There is an anime of this. So far, I've only read two chapters, and the first two chapters are actually the first two episodes of the series. We got Please Put Them On, Takamine san, another nasty man. Uh, Teasing Master Tagagi san, volume two, which I have not seen the anime, and I'm looking for volume one to actually start the series. But I was able to find volume two. We have. To save the world, can you wake up the morning after with a demi-human? And honestly, this is a big trigger warning manga right here. So if you guys are easily triggered, do not check out that manga. I will repeat, do not check out that manga. We also have I'm the Hero, but the Demon Lord's also me, which is a kind of weird isekai kind of like manga. It's not really an isekai, but... <sighs> It's weird, but like I said, this is the Nasty Man shelf, so you're going to see a lot of weird stuff. We have Monster Wrestling, which was recommended to me by my boy Jerry in, I believe, episode 21 of Come Shop With The Boy. <laughs> he is a nasty man, and probably half this shelf is because he peer pressured me into his guys. Guys, I was pure before I met Jerry. I'm just playing. Jerry is a dope individual. I am the one that actually tanks him. But we got Battle Vixers right here, 1 through 10. I have not read it yet, but I did get it for super cheap, $2.99 a volume. Can't really beat that. We also got Don't Torment Me, Miss Nagatoro, aka Don't Torment Me, Miss Godotoro. I'm sorry, but I really do like Don't Torment Me, Miss Nagatoro. It's very wholesome. It's very meanish too, and it's kind of nasty manish. But we have up to volumes 1 through 7 right now, and we have Ajin right here at the top. I have heard plenty of manga tubers talk highly of this series, so Wanted to give it a shot. Haven't read it yet, but I do want to give it a shot. And then at the last bit of the manga collection, we have Helsing Volume 1. And then we got Berserk Volumes 1 through 7. One of the greatest series I have read in my entire life. Katara Miura, you are a goat. I will say that right now. And ooh, 
that golden age arc i can't wait for you guys to see that you know i can't wait for you guys to see that review video right there but yeah guys that's the whole collection right there of all my manga this is the nasty man manga right here and then we get a little tour around and then we get all my other monk wait wait let me let me turn the light around all right got the light around but right here is all the manga that i have right here if you guys want to count all this bad boy up go ahead do me a solid by doing that because this is about to be a lot to count and if you guys get a more correct number than me then you are a beast that i need to know <laughs> i'm just saying that but yeah this is my whole manga collection before i move and uh y'all will get an updated manga look or an updated room slash house apartment tour i don't know i don't know how this goes but yeah let me go ahead and switch back to me all right guys so that is it for my manga collection and for today's comment for today's video comment i i, I want to put the question out there how much manga do you have in your collection i'm talking about volumes don't don't be giving me that oh well this omnibus has two volumes so i'm going to count it as two vol no 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 this omnibus is one volume don't be giving me that bs that omnibus is one volume right there so go ahead let me know how many volumes of manga that you have in your collection and let me know when you actually started collecting manga but i gotta say thank you guys for watching if you are new to the channel you have not already go ahead hit the subscribe button post notification bell like the video and share the content i like to say thank you guys for watching dark sage out Peace.